Mä oon Raskinemma. Mä oon sairastanut Hortonin syndroomaan seitsemän vuotta. Diagnoosin saamisessa mulla kesti yhteensä neljä vuotta. Mä menetin mun nuoruuden Hortonin syndroomalle. Me voidaan tehdä tähän muutos. Jakamalla tietoa tästä sairaudesta me voidaan perustaa jonkun henki. Horton syndrome, also known as cluster headache, causes sudden excruciating extreme head attacks that usually affect one side of the head and appear in the area around the eyes. The level of pain can be disabling in few minutes. During severe pain attacks, person is not able to respond or function. When these attacks are not under control, person can be isolated and even self-destructive. When someone gets a cluster attack, they may be restless, rocking their head or body back and forth, hold on to their head or bang it with something, cry, scream or just stay still. Tearing and runny nose may appear as symptoms. If you see this identifier or think you are seeing a cluster attack, please call an ambulance. If you have witnessed someone giving a very painful birth or losing a limb in an accident, behavior during pain attack can be this extreme. Sometimes cluster patients are mistaken for drug users or other self-destructive behavior. Cluster patients go through these pain attacks daily and often they wake up a person during night. This creates a vicious circle from lack of sleep. This condition is not well known and getting a diagnosis may take a long time. Finding a treatment that works is extremely important. To get a pain attack under control, cluster patient needs medical oxygen, delivered high flow with an airtight mask. Oxygen treatment should be available at home as soon as possible for patients to survive these attacks. We ask you to spread awareness. The most important thing you can give to a cluster patient is hope. Jakamalla tietoa Hortonin syndroomasta voit pelastaa jonkun hengen. Oma kivuttomuus lähti siitä, kun aloin saamaan potilasyhteisöistä tietoa ja sit sitä myöten tuli toivoa. Ja nyt ollaan oltu kivuttomana jo lähes yhdeksän vuotta.